Hey guys, it's KJ48. Welcome back to my Fallout 3 Let's Play. This is part 88. And when last we left off, we're here in Tranquility Lane, and this psycho Betty uh, has had me do some pretty horrific things, and now she wants me to kill everyone in this town. Um, I don't really much of a problem with killing everyone in this town. They seem like a bunch of tools, but I really don't want any more karma hits. And plus, if I do an alternate thing, uh, she'll be stuck here by forever by herself. So let's do that. Because she's a stupid bitch. So, let's go back to the abandoned house. It's the one with the gate that's closed. There it is. Oh. I don't think that's it. No, that's not it. This one's it. This is the abandoned house. So, I was right that these, um... A couple of these things in here make a uh, tone. And, uh, if you hit these in a certain order of tone, it makes, like, a musical score, which is actually what... It, uh, Betty is whistling out there, so you got to hit these in right order. So bear with me. Um, it's radio, pitcher, G gnome, pitcher, C C, cinder block, uh, G gnome, and B bottle. And that's the fail safe. And th another reason I wanted to show you this, guys, because it sounds really, really cool. Just watch. Activate Vault 112 Auxiliary Command Terminal. Auxiliary Command Terminal, please consult a supervisor before, before proceeding. Access Chinese Invasion Program. Access Version Control. Uh, a couple entries from Dr. Braun. Let's uh, take a look. I finally come this, to the realization that the Tukin. Lagoon simulation is... I don't... Whatever. I'm not going to read this. If you want, you could pause the video and read this crap. Oh, this is might sound important. I've surprised myself. I find Tranquility Lane comforting, although distinctly American. It somehow reminds me of whatever that is, the town of my childhood. I think he's German or something. Um, there's a beautiful irony with this particular simulation as well. The residents here are naturally at home, naturally safe. When I when I toy with them, when their s suburban illusions is suddenly broken, it's that much more satisfying. I do believe we shall all remain here in Tranquility Lane for a long time. A very long time indeed. Alright. Uh, access Chinese Invasion Program. Chinese Invasion, fail safe, something access. Uh, welcome, Dr. Braun. Uh, documentation. Entry. There are days I consider finally pulling the plug, as it were, and putting a permanent end to both the situation and my, the simulation in my life. That is the reason I requested installation of General Chase's Chinese Invasion Program, after all. By disabling the safety protocols, I've ensured that each subject in Vault 112 will physically die if their in-simulation avatars are killed. Real-world death, end of simulation, the perfect fail-safe. Hold on one second. Alright, sorry, I had to clear my throat. At least it would have been, if not for my own misjudgment. I knew when the simulation first went online that the secondary safeties those established for all vault tech and military personnel would prevent my own real world demise in the event of a fail safe execution. In the end I would kill the subjects and save myself. I wouldn't want it any other way or so I thought. It's true the fail safe would scare the living hell out of every resident in Tranquility Lane and lead to their brutal deaths but then what about me? I have, I have no ability to disable my own safety from within the simulation, and any other avatars I could create would be driven by the simulation's AI routines, not actually living, thinking human subjects. Where's the fun of in tormenting a machine? And so the release of the real world subjects is, is more than they deserve, more than I could bear. They'd be dead, and I'd be left here in Tranquility Lane alone and tragically bored for all eternity. I can think of nothing more unacceptable. <laughs> Initiate Chinese Invasion Failsafe. Review documentation before proceeding. Did I do it?
I guess I did it. Let's go look. Did I do it? I can't tell. I don't think I set it off. What did I do wrong? What do you mean review? Oh! Okay, I gotta read the documentation. Yeah, whatever. Blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Yeah, got it. Okay. Program running. Yeah, I've gained karma. Oh, here we go. Game on, bitches. Get him, Chinese. Oh, the humanity. I wonder why they're not killing me. Hey, you stupid bitch. Do you realize what you've done? You've triggered the failsafe. Ruined everything. The subjects will die and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone. You ruined everything. Everything. It's all over. Now shut up and answer my questions. It is not over. It is not over until I say so. Do you understand me? I, I, I. I just want things to go back the way they were. Tell me about the Gek. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology, and ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? I came here for my father, now where is he? He's been right here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. How come he didn't get killed then? And by the way, that's pretty funny considering the first thing I did when I get here was punch a dog in the face. Tell me about this place, about Tranquility Lane. It is my greatest achievement. The best of the many simulations I've run in these 200 years. I played with the others, but they bored me. This version never grew old. It amused me over and over and over again. Tell me exactly who you are. Who you really are. My name is Stanislaus Braun. I'm a vault -Tec scientist. I created this simulation for vault -Tec, but for myself as well. It was my own design, my own perfection. A better reality than any other. Far greater than my work on the Gek. So my father's okay? I can get him back? Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. So I'm free to leave? Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. Shouldn't they have killed me and my dad, though? Yeah, I have to go now. Run along now! That was interesting. First of all, it's Son, dead. you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but but what are you doing here? I came here to find you. Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, or I might have fared better. What, you didn't like being a dog? Well, I suppose it had its moments, but in the end, I much prefer having opposable thumbs. 
And now that I'm back, I can get back to work. I need to tell Madison what I've learned. What did you learn? I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. So you're going back to Rivet City right now? Yes. With what I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgates. I don't know if this is getting to, towards the end of the game. I think this is giving me a decision to do more side quests, which I do want to do. Dad, I'm not going with you. I have other things to take care of. Really? You're not going to join me? Coming all this way after me, I'd have thought you'd want to help. I have to keep going. I can't stop now. I'm going back to Rivet City. Meet me there if you change your mind. I... It would be good to work with you, son. What exactly is Project Purity? It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loves so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. Can we just talk for a minute? Of course, son. What's on your mind? Can't we just go back to the vault, back to the way things were? Somehow, I don't think the overseer would agree <laughs> with that. What's done is done. But if we succeed, if we can make Project Purity a reality, we can create a new life for ourselves out here. Uh, the Overseer isn't going to have much to say about anything. Why would you throw away the life we had? You have to understand, the vault wasn't for me. It was for you. To make sure my son grew up someplace safe, away from all this. I didn't want you to leave. I wanted you to stay there, to grow up and live your life in safety. Just forget it. Let's get this over with. I hope that you can understand why I've done the things that I've done. The last thing I want is to lose my son. What happened to Project Purity? In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt, and then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. I want to talk to you about some things. What's on your mind? How could you leave me like that? What the hell were you thinking? I wanted you to be safe. I didn't want this for you. A life out here in this godforsaken war zone. I couldn't tell you what I was doing because I didn't want you following me. A plan which clearly was not as successful as I imagined it would be. Is this about Mom? Are you trying so hard because of what happened to her? Oh, my son. If only you could have known how much it meant to her. She believed in the work we were doing and was so determined to see it through. She gave up so much for this project. We all did, and I don't want that to have been for nothing. I think I understand. I'm glad we talked. So am I, son. While this isn't what I had in mind, it's good to have you with me. Mm, how did Mom really die? 
I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years. But your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened. Not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. What's the big deal about water anyway? That seems kind of a stupid thing to say, but... The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. <clears throat> out here, things are different. Oh, I know. Water out here is never clean, and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal Yeah, I life. drink out of toilets, dude. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding. Starting over. Hmm. Interesting. I have to go, Dad. Be careful, my son. Alright, that was pretty cool. Got some answers. Um, putting the uh, main quest on hold for a little bit, I guess, to do some side stuff. Hello, sir. Let's put back on my good armor. my damage with damage resistance with that 36 seems pretty high oh wow you didn't have to go out like the vault vault entrance or maybe I missed it miss this. Definitely in between this and next video I will go back to town and do inventory management. Is everything alright? Um, yeah, dude. What do you need? Nothing. Be careful. Yeah, I'm, a, I'm definitely not going to show inventory management stuff anymore on video. I'm not sure if I was doing that before, but I'm not going to do it anymore. Uh... So, yeah, where should I go? I kind of just want to putz around, because I... Eh. Um... Let's just run off in a direction and walk for a couple minutes. Uh, I got two minutes left on this video. I don't like cutting my videos. Uh, but at the same time, I don't want to get into anything else. So let's just, uh... Let's just run around for a couple minutes. So I'll talk about the game. Uh... Yeah, I'm going to do all my inventory management off-camera. There's nothing you guys haven't seen. Uh, it's not like I'm going to be buying awesome guns or something really different or new. Uh, it's, you know, you're not going to be missing anything. It's just boring inventory management. Buying bullets, buying stim packs, selling crap. Uh, so, yeah. And I will do that between videos, or if I have to do it in the middle of a video, I'll cut the video and just, you know, do it like that. I'm not sure if I was doing that before. Like I said, I haven't made a video in months. So I don't remember how I was doing it, but I was watching part 85 or something, and uh, just to try and get my head around where I was uh, before I made this video. And, uh, what's this? And uh, when I was doing that, I was selling and stuff on camera, so I guess I didn't, I don't know what I started doing, but um, yeah, that's the way it's going to be now, though. I will. What's this? The fuck is that? Oh shit! Only death claw. Not good. None of my none of my gears on. Oh, you motherfucker! All right, alien disintegration will be number one. Uh, Chinese assault rifle number two. Minigun three. What the hell is a tri beam laser? Damage is forty nine. It seems pretty decent. Oh, 
Okay, timer. Yeah, I've never fought a Deathclaw before, but everyone told me they're badass. So let's see how badass they are. I'm not impressed. Deathclaw hand. Oh, and we leveled up. But there's something else out there. Gotta make sure we have our stim packs on. So I thought th I thought I was killing time here, and now this video is gonna end up being longer than I wanted it to be. Eh, that's the way it goes. And number eight, stim pack. Let's go ahead and eat some crap. Weapon's pretty good. Oh, hold on. Alright, let's see, we gotta level up here. Uh energy weapons, right? That's what I'm thinking. Medicine would be nice, repair would be interesting. Speech. Yeah, let's go with uh let's go with energy weapons. Alright. Oh boy, this is gonna be a while. You know what, let me look through these, uh, yeah, whatever, this will just be a longer video, it's all good. Uh, with concentrated fire, your accuracy to hit any body part in vats increases slightly with each subs- Okay, I don't care about that. Um, better criticals. No, action boy with the action boy perk, you can dish 25 using bats. Let's go with action boy, I think. Just make sure. Okay, let's go with uh, Action Boy. With Action Boy, you gain an additional 25 Action Points using Vats. It's pretty pretty good. I do like Vats. Alright, uh, we do have one more guy up here to fight. So let's uh, go see what we got. Oh, just a dog. And now a dead dog. I'm the man. Yeah, my first Deathclaw guys, everyone's warned me about them. Meh. Whatever. Maybe they're harder if you face a bunch of them, but... Anyway, that's gonna be it for part 88, and I'll see you next time for 89. Till then, take it easy.